Welcome back everyone. Today we got some shipping out. We got shipping out here. Found this on itch.io and uh, pretty much all I know about it is that we get to make our own character. We get to make our parents. So let's do this new game. Oh look at the cute puppy it was! Got Pat's Arcade. So if I'm not mistaken, we're moving into town here. And we get to make us and we get to make our parents. And I'm very tempted to make the parents me and my fiance. And then have sons so that way I can be creative with our cre our boy here, because I gotta make a boy. Do, 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 do. This game is so cute. I love the music. They them. Oh, let's go with they them. Their name? Their name. I have no idea. I don't, oh. Can you just scroll on through? Does this like change their appearance at all though? Okay. No, it's just the pronouns. Got it. Got some shoes. Kind of she- Oh, there's only two shoes. Let's go with some pink shoes. Got some shorts, some, uh, ripped up pants, some jeans. Look at your face. Like, how crazy can I get? Looks like I, there's some okay options. Yep. Sleepy face, that's how I always feel. What the heck? Is this like mushroom head? I could be a cop. Oh, we got some glasses here. There's some style here. I'm gonna give them some glasses. Oh, okay. Here's the tops. Oh, me, Guri. Oh my goody. What is that? I can't move them, can I? It won't let me move them. I know, that kind of looks like a seal? No, not a seal. Uh, an otter? An otter mixed with a seal, perhaps. Okay, we got... I like those... I like those button up. That's what I like. Got some shoes. Let's make the pants different. Let's get them. Nah, I don't like the shorts. Nah. Let's just give them some simple pants. What is. Ah. Uh, oh, I forgot to enter their name. What is your name? I'm going to name you. Craig. With a K. Craig. There we go. Okay. Now we're making our par uh, the parents. Okay. This is gonna be me. My name is Ruth. Bottoms. I usually wear shorts. Me, I usually go with the black. I am as pale as pale can be. And I am the tired, I am the tired one. Well, this is probably more like my face though. And that is the closest to my hair can be. Tank tops, oh yeah, that's me. That's definitely me. Other parent, this is my fiance, Tom. It's actually you can't really change the hair color. Cause like he has long hair. <laughs> Tom with sunglasses, there you go. Got 
Because that, some bottoms, so just some jeans, black shoes. There's the black, there's the black shoes. There we go. Yeah, let's ship out. Ah, such a creative family. It's not that bad, the whole uh, character creation. It's not that bad. Craig, can, uh, Craig, can you come here, please? Can you finish unpacking your room? Finish unpacking your room later. I don't know. Okay. So we to control the character. Oh, this is so cute. I like the whole uh, moving background here. Oh, this is already so cute. This is my kind of stuff. I like the cutesy 3D like models and stuff like that. I love that kind of stuff. Ah, say hello to the house, Craig. We'll be calling this place home for now. Uh, from now. Hey, so we just wanted to touch base with you real quick. We know all this moving around isn't exactly the easiest, but it puts food on the table. I should just have Ruth and Ruth because we look exactly the same here. <laughs> Oh, it does, but that's not what I was getting at. It's gotta be hard for you with this being our fourth move in six years. Wow. Right, six years. Wow, time flies. Anyway, this is only a six month assignment. Our shortest time yet, so before you know it, we'll be on the move again. Oh, no, that's terrible. So, promise me you'll put some effort in getting to know this town. But we're only gonna be here for a short time, you said. It's celebration uh, day today, so there should be some fun things to do. And remember, Craig, we love you. Oh yes, we love you. And don't say uh, stay out too late. Tomorrow's your first day of school. Uh, school. Explore the town. Hi, me. Hi, Tom. How do I talk to you? Base. You should be helping us, but I guess it's okay for you to go check out the town. Mother me. Oh, and you'll explore the town. Don't worry about us. We'll take care of the things here. Ooh. Okay, can I explore the house? Like, which the front of the house? This your room? I cannot enter that room. Like, where is the front of the house? Where's your room? Okay, I'm gonna guess the other one. Was the bathroom. Yep, this is our house. Ah, oh, look how cute everything is! Oh! Hey! Hello? Hi there! Ha! 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 Have you... See... Seen a dog? Ha! Around here. Here? Uh, you okay, boy? Just, yeah, sorry. Whew. I've been running around. Seriously. Uh, though, have you seen a dog around here? I uh, haven't seen one. There's a puppy missing? Uh, I haven't seen one. Ah, oh, man. I can't find him anywhere. Not again. It's just always so hard dragging him down, and it's celebration day, and... Wait a sec. You're new in town, right? Never seen you around here before. I feel like I need to change the settings. This game is a lagging for me. Oh, thank you, my potato computer. Yeah. My name is Craig. Oh, awesome! Nice to meet ya. I'm Bruce. Tell you what though, if you help me find my dog, his name's Ace, by the way. I'll show you around town. I'll show you around town. Cause we gotta save that pup! Yeah! And we will! So, we left the door open at my place, and he got out. Let's start with a che uh, with checking out my uh, neighborhood, in case he went home. It's the northernmost house on Collins Street. 
Let's go, Craig. And open the map to get around ten. Use the beam boost around the or to move the cursor around the map. The Bruce has the lead sheet can help Bruce skills. M to the map. Colin Street. What street did he say it was? At the end of Colin Street. Where the heck is Colin Street? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I definitely gotta change this. My computer cannot handle the best settings of this pretty cute game. And a clown street? Okay, do I have to open this? Okay, I thought I was had to do something. Can I save the game? I'm gonna hope that this doesn't mess everything up. So, one moment. Alright, I set to this game to the lowest possible settings so my computer doesn't have an aneurysm trying to load this beautiful game. <laughs> it still looks great, even on lowest settings. To be honest, I have no idea if anything has changed <laughs> too much. Welcome to my neighborhood. Welcome, my home is at the end of the street. Let's go then. Can I run? Sprint? Anything? No? Is that Ace! Ace! Come here, boy! Ace! Here, boy! Come on, where is he? Dang. I don't think he's here. We should try the market. He likes to sit and stare at the food on display. The market's on Main Street, so let's get going. Let's get going here. Where the heck is Main Street? Oh, shoot, so just down into the left. Got it. Let's go. Main Street. Oh man, I just love this look of this game. Oh, there's like a ruby on it. Why is there like a ruby on the fountain? Okay. Head to the market off Main Street. Hi, who are you? Officer Abel. Sure, wish something would happen around here. Darn delinquents. You? Hi. How are you? Can I speak with you? No, I cannot. So where's the market? Main Street. It's the school. Street. Is this the market? Oh, that's the market. Okay, gotcha. So I'm in the wrong area. Let's go! Market, how the fuck do I get in here? What? I disappeared. Nope. Okay, I just went under the the awning thing. It says uh Guru Hotel, it's where all the tourists stay. Run by uh, Miss Guru uh Guerrero. So it's a mom and pop shop. Mrs. Uh Guerrero is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. She'll always give A some love too. She has a daughter too, but I haven't seen her around in a while. Is she perhaps missing? Hmm, is there a mystery to uncover? A missing person, perhaps? Do you see him anywhere? Uh, Ace, I'll buy you a treat! Hello, <laughs> Ace loves food, but I don't know if he's uh, successful to bribery when it, well, he wants to do something, you know? I don't think he's here either. Dang it. Come on. Oh wait, I bet he's in the town square. Loves playing in the fountain. We were just there. I didn't see any dog. Well then do it once in a while and now he thinks he owns the fountain. Let's head there. It's on the other side of the main street. Let's go. I know where that fountain is, but I don't remember seeing any dog there. Where is the fluffy doggo? I really like that gem. What's with the gem? Eyes and ears, Ace, uh, eyes and ears. Ace thinks is not a sniff around here. There's lots of people, and he also th uh, thinks he gets a splash around if I don't watch him. There's not really many people here, like we're the only two people. Plus the cop over there and that one lady, human person that's just walking around we can't speak to. 
What's that on top of the fountain? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It's like a giant gem. Ooh, me like shiny. Haha, <laughs> just missing. That's our town's most prized position, my friend. The guy who founded this town, Cullen McGeary, he carried that gem with him for good luck. How the frick do you carry that gem with you? That is a huge ass gem. Okay? It's somewhat like a half the size of us. It's about the size of our heads here, man. And some people are really gonna have to end up uh, flo uh, floating the boats to this place so we can kind of assemble, you know? Wow, pretty cool, but what's the point of it? Ahem. Ahem. Well. Everyone around here knows how important that gem is to the peop uh, prosperity of the town. It's brought this town luck since the old days when our founder, the good Colin McGurry, discovered this land. Hmm. Haven't seen you before. Must be new in town, eh? Let's uh, let me be uh, one of the first to welcome you to our fair town. Well, why didn't you welcome me before when I spoke to you before, huh? Got a bad memory here? You don't remember seeing me? I spoke to you. We're a tight-knit community and I hope you will respect that. Anyhow, uh, it's nice to meet ya. You take care of Brucey here. Him and that dog of his. <laughs> I remember, I got my eye on you, punk. <laughs> and the look on your face. That dude is so weird. Like, even for 5 0, he's just awkward, you know? He just thinks he's the sheriff around here. All I've ever seen him do is bother kids around our age. Never known him to hurry to his car when something actually serious happens in a nearby town. Oh, right! The dog! <laughs> Come on, Bruce, think. Think. Where else would he go? Think, think, think. Oh! Boom jams! I got it! Uh, at least I think I do. Either way, I bet he's at the school uh, parking lot. They don't pick up the trash there until Monday, so it just kind of sits there for a few days. It's kind of gross. Ace loves to dig through it, though so, uh, though, so I always have to give him a bath afterwards. Come on, we aren't that far from there. It's really close by the town square. It's cool. I'm pretty sure the school is right here on the left. Just to be sure. Yep, on the left. Where's the par oh, the parking lot's over here. Right? This is a school parking lot? Perhaps. It's like right next to the school. <gasps> Doggo! <gasps> Work! Bark! Earth! Grr! Grr! That sounds like Ace! There he is! Ace! Ace! Come here, boy! Arf! Arf! Grr! Huh? He must have found something, Craig. Let's go see what it is. Ace, what's the matter, buddy? Ah, ah. Oh my god, I'm so cute! I missed you, man. What have you been up to? Huh, Bring? What's it doing all the way out here? I'm not sure. I don't want to be rude and just like say, oh, yeah, like, forget about that, Bring. What about the dog? But like, I do want to talk to the dog. Look how cute he is! Just like, zoom in on him! Look at that fluffer woofer! Fluff! Woofer! Good boy! Oh well. Well hey, we found Ace! Oh man, we were running all around town and I forgot to my uh, manners. Ace, this is Craig. They helped me look for you. And Craig, this is Ace, the best dog in the world. Except for when he runs off without telling anyone. Bark. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, you're such a good boy. Thanks again for helping me find him. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Hey, I think the fireworks are going to start uh, soon for celebration day. We can hang some more and uh, watch them. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Can I hold these? 
a little hold this, can I hold this? Aw, oh, sure, but maybe when you guys know each other a, a bit more better. Ha! Alright, let's go! Okay, just suddenly got pitch black outside. It was sunny, and then whoosh, darkness. I love watching fireworks, they're so pretty and exciting! Boom! It really gets your heart racing. It really gets your heart racing. Yes! Exclamation mark. Woo! Totally. <laughs> we have something in common. We have something in common then. Oh, by the way, what grade are you in? School starts tomorrow. Uh, I'll be sitting here getting ready for a so uh, sophomore slump, baby. Hell yeah! <laughs> I hope that's not really a thing. I don't know if my parents will handle another meh year. <laughs> By the way, thanks again for helping me find Ace. Really, honestly, seriously, thanks. Arf! He says thanks too. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, Craig. It was nice meeting you too. Yeah, yeah! Oh, wait. I almost forgot. I never formally uh, welcomed you to our little uh, coastal town, did I? Let me be the first, er, second, I guess, to say welcome to Micker and Craig. Well, Ace and I have to head home now. I hope to see you tomorrow. I don't get to walk back. That's fine. Knock, knock. Come in and say good night. Coming in to say good night. Well, you were out for some time, I guess you had some fun. Did you have a good time or what? Pretty cool, yeah, I met a kid named Bruce. Yeah, I said town, at least I know where I'm going now. Meh, I mean, there was fireworks and a dog. Yeah, I met a kid named Bruce, let's be positive. I helped him find his dog and then we watched the fireworks. Great, I don't think I can get, a, uh, can get any better than making a friend on the first day when you haven't even had school yet. I am very proud of you. Yeah, overall, it was a good day. Well, I suppose that's enough invading your space. I'm off to bed. Good night, my love. Good night. Love you, too. Aw, so sweet. I'm making my boy the sweetest. Craig, Craig, you have to get ready for school. It's your first day and don't want to be late. Set out. Mom, I'm hungry. I just woke up. Don't I make breakfast? There's toast on the counter, can I eat that? Alrighty, Craig, I hope you're ready to make the most of your time here. There's something special about this place. Well, that's one way I put it, I guess I am. Uh, not sure about time is here, I don't know about the rest, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I feel like I hear that one. Let's be, uh, let's be the most confident that we can be for our parents. <laughs> There you go. After all, you had some uh, practice on making friends at this point. You are going to do great here, Craig. It's, an, uh, it's a, such a cool town. Worst comes to worst, you won't, uh, we won't be here long. So if something bad would really happen, I guess we would uh, try it again in just in a few months. But that won't be the case if you make a little effort to uh, try and get to know the place. Now it's time to go to school. Have a good day, okay? Love you! Thanks, love you too, Mom. Love you too, me. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. Go to school, and school is just down the road-ish. Such a good game, I think. I'm enjoying myself. I love just looking at the adorable colorfulness. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I love it. Wait, I just realized I passed down the wrong street. I'm already getting lost in this town. Hi, do you speak? Nope, you a silent NPC just wandering around town aimlessly. Nice to meet you, nameless NPC. Another NPC, you probably named us too, aren't you? Can you speak? No, you cannot. Goodbye, NPC. At least there are some people walking around making the appeal a little bit less lonely. I like having like a nameless NPCs. I guess I wouldn't speak to anyone if this was real life. Open door. We look alike, teacher. We look a lot alike. Mr. N. 
Well, I don't believe I've seen you on campus before. Uh, class? S uh, settle, settle down, please. Looks like we have a new student joining us this year. Why don't we t uh, tell you what? Why don't you tell everyone who you are? I'm actually only here for six months. Well, that doesn't mean you can't leave a lasting impression. Uh, introduce yourself to the class. My name's Craig, and I hope I want to have that uh, have a class, shall we? Okay, uh, come see him. What? Okay, uh, let's just have. Let's just be positive. As positive as we possibly can. Well, that was nice. Why don't you take the empty seat next to Bruce? Bruce, wave your hand for me. Bruce, buddy, yeah, I get to be your partner. Woo! Real crowd pleaser, eh? Don't worry, you can duck your head down the desk till it blows over. I guess that's how to introduce yourself uh, from wherever you're from. At least capable of making a good first impression. You're one to judge. At least my best friend isn't a literal animal. Yeah, okay. I know I can trust Ace. Certainly people, not so much. Ahoy, ahoy! Uh, will the, uh, the old married couple in the peanut gallery stop at Green a moment so I can teach my lesson? Whoa. Okay, we've got a lot to cover. Half of world history to be exact, so let's just try and remember where we left off last year. Oh, thank god, we don't actually have to learn class. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Craig, over here. Come on, join the table of misfits toys. Hello, Brucey and other people that I'm going to make good friends with in this weird, awesome adventure. Awesome, Craig, meet uh, Nati. I'm going to butcher these names. Incredibly so. Meet Nat uh, Natalia, Natalie, Natalie, and Keith. Say hi, guys. Hiya! Hey, hey. Dude, I'm glad I spotted you when I did. You almost sat with that weirdo. Oh, don't be rude. Like, way back when we were kids. Ah, uh, I brought Ace to school when he was a puppy, and Marcus totally rattled me out. Like, out of nowhere. We were friends. I, I don't go near him after that. Yeah. But hey, we were just uh, discussing, more like arguing, debating, yeah, yeah, yelling about what's been causing everything to uh, disappear. Uh, disappear? What are you talking about? Oh jeez, right. You're new here and haven't noticed yet. The government's stealing stuff from people around town. It's not the government, dude. You always think it's them. I think the both of you have an overreacting imagination. I love your hair, girl. It's a galaxy. I love it. It's pretty. How do you get such shiny hair? Is your hair just galaxies? You have an overactive imagination. Hello? Marcus, I think your name is? You guys obviously don't want to see what's under the surface, man. It's totally government experiment. They're probably going to return it all, uh, but with microchips. Just as microchips? What do these chips do, Keith? I don't know. Yet! Okay, bud. Seriously, it's space aliens, man. It has to be. They're using advanced tech to put, uh, phase them into the, onto their spit ships. And then, what are they doing with them? Probably putting them in museums on their home planets. Maybe that we're a fun curiosity for them. Sure, not museums. Behold, a gold-plated toilet seat from the monkey people from Earth. Yours is like the worst of all three of us. Ghosts? Really? Ghosts, man. Ghosts. I don't get how you two can feel the energy flowing through a place. I can sense the teenage angst of several generations of students right now. I'm pretty sure the DOD installed the EMF uh, receptor in your brain just for fun. And what are these ghosts uh, taking shiny metal for then? I'm pretty sure they're building a gateway from the other side so they communicate freely with them, uh, with them, with the living. No more EMF scans, Keith. They'll just come handy. Hand, hang, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, well, Craig, I hope you have a better idea than these two. 
moment, like the miners who have uh, vertigo and the dealing digging up their gold, some mutilated frogs who live in the sewer of Encelium, and oh, maybe just some really good burglars. Mutated frogs! And uh, they use the stuff they get to, uh, to make weapons to fight off evil sa uh, samurai led by the Fist Clan, right? Honestly, I have no idea what's uh, uh, no clue what's going on. Bruce, do you think that ring we found is somehow connected to this? Oh yeah, the ring! You still have it? Dang, well I'd say that's Exhibit A for our case, friends. Exhibit A providing what? Ghosts? You gonna scan it with your electronic doodads? Well, maybe it proves aliens. Or the government. I don't know, I'm just saying we got some missing stuff on our hands. It's cause of ghosts, though. It's just one uh, missing thing anyway. My grandpa used to say, one is nothing, two is a coincidence, but three is a pattern. Like I said, it's not like we're gonna find anything uh, on it that points us in the right direction. Maybe if we figure out where it came from, we can uh, triangulate something. <laughs> I'm the master of triangulation. That's my jam. And even I don't see where that takes us. Oh, this conversation isn't over. I'm telling you, we need to triangulate the ghosts. So what is, like, Marcus, I think his name is, doing over there? He just kind of walked over. English, please. I like the girl on the left over here. I like her. I like them. Okay, you have the same shirt as my mother. I like the hat. It good. Oh, is that what the mushroom cap was? I couldn't really tell. I thought it was a mushroom cap. I was so confused. It was a hat, wasn't it? Yeah, dude, even I don't understand what you're saying. Whatever, we'll figure something out. Come on, let's head to the class. It was nice to meet you, Craig. Oh yeah, totally. We should hang out sometime. See you guys after school. I like them. You good people. We be best friends. Alright, I have to end it here. I've been playing- oh! No! <laughs> Alright, I will continue this later. This is a good this is a good sign point. I enjoyed this game. I can't wait to play more. I have no idea if the game is finished. Or if they're gonna be finishing it. I don't know. I'm gonna play more. I can't wait to play more. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.